Hi, I want to ask you if you are feeling stuck and craving to reach your next level. And here is what you can do. Increase your energetic capacity to receive more. So you might be wondering, Morgan, what does that jargon mean? Well, increasing your energetic capacity to receive more means that you have been used to doing things a certain way, thinking certain thoughts, feeling a certain way, reacting a certain way to your emotions, you know, everything that has to do with triggers, right? And this is what we call the good old comfort zone. And in a sense, it's also part of the programming, the way you were raised, the way society told you to act or react or be. And that runs in you more or less consciously. Of course, there are different levels. And when I say it runs in you, it runs in everyone, you know, because we are all humans. So it's all of us on earth, okay? So there's nothing wrong with you. We all do that. But here I want to share how to go past resistance and how to overcome that. Number one, self-awareness. The more you know yourself, the more you understand how you act and react, the more your awareness is going to raise. And then when you are aware of a pattern, you have the choice. You have the choice to keep repeating it or to stop it by reacting differently. And in that case, that's not a reaction, that's a response, okay? The second thing is the decision to get out of your comfort zone just deciding, okay, what feels comfortable, what feels uncomfortable. Of course, there are the uncomfortable, like the absolute no-no, like this is not who I am, and that's totally fine. I'm talking here about the uncomfortable, the I'm scared, but I know this could help me, so I'm still going to do it. That's the comfort zone, the going out of the comfort zone that I'm talking about. Number three, changing your habits and your thoughts. So if, for example, you have the habit of getting up and drinking coffee first thing in the morning, but you want to stop drinking coffee, you just need to change the habit. You know, it's not just going to happen just like that. You need to get up and decide that you're going to drink fresh ginger in boiled water, for example changing, like actively doing something. And regarding your thoughts, it's like, oh, I have dark thoughts. I always imagine the worst case scenario. If you are saying this, then it means you are aware. Okay? So now you need to change, to act on it and change that. Fourth thing to change and go past resistance is to allow yourself to feel. Meaning not being scared of your emotions, not... Uh, exploding if you're angry and lashing out on someone, you know, whatever. So I call this channeling your emotion, letting them come in through you and out of you. And fifth tip, I would say cleansing your energy. It used to be the case for me in the past when I was not aware of these things. I still had a corporate job and all that. So for example, I would go to pick up some groceries after work and I would just want to get the F out of that supermarket, that grocery store, because suddenly I would just get annoyed, like irritated to the point that I was feeling it was boiling within me. And I had no idea that I was picking up on the energy of people or of the place or whatever, like stress or toxicity or whatever low vibration there was at that moment. So cleansing that, things that are not yours, but still they are they are activating you because there is something within you that is responding to these signals. But at least cleansing the, the charge, you know, the external charge, this can really help in, in keeping your calm. So, of course, you can learn to cleanse your energy. And I already made a podcast about this. You can find guided meditations. But... You can have a deeper energy cleanse, of course, to deactivate what, what it is within you that is activated by this or that energy, right? So an energy cleanse, you, you basically remove stagnant energies, 
negative energies from places, people and things also, you know, never know. Um, because the, these things can attach to us, right? And emotional cords can be formed with people, whether it is superficial connection, you know, you just go and buy something, you have a small conversation with the shop owner, for example, that's a superficial connection, but you can have more, like, deeper connection with people, and people who drain your energy, people who slow you down, and things that slow you down. And I'm not even talking about etheric implants or astral parasites here. I'm not even talking about the a little bit more quote-unquote paranormal things. I'm talking about daily life things that are overlooked, okay? So removing this will increase your vibration. Not only will you feel relief and immediate improved sense of wellness, you will also attract higher vibrational situations and people into your life because of the law of resonance, you know? An energy cleanse can also help you increase your awareness, bring things to your consciousness so that you can create shifts in your daily life, take a fresh look and change your perspective on situations for a more positive outlook on life, thinking in terms of solution, right? And the higher you vibrate, the higher vibrational this, the things, people, opportunities, situations, and places as well, you will attract. And everyone can benefit from an energy cleanse. And cleansing our energy field, which is our aura, should be as natural to us as cleansing our physical body. Every day you go in the shower, you don't question it, you need a shower. Cleansing your energy field should be the same thing, okay? So I'm going to keep it short for today. I just wanted to share that. So if you would like to experience an energy cleanse or a recalibration, a recalibration is basically clearing limitations and subconscious programming so that you can be crystal clear and become a vibrational match to what you are wanting to see more of in your life. So it helps your whole system, including your nervous system, not see the outside, the comfort zone as a threat. But you're, you're able to feel safe and allow yourself to expand past the resistance, the natural resistance, and reach your next level. So if you want to know more, feel free to check out my website, morganrose.com. I will put the link in the description of this podcast. Thank you very much for listening. I wish you a beautiful day or night, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.